Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today we are going to test out some goodies that I got sent from Coloured Rain. So we've got the Queen of Hearts palette, some lipsticks and some lashes. So if you want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching. So yeah, I look a bit scared because I've done my eyebrows and I've primed my lips already. Lips? Lids. But with the P. Louise base. Um, and now we're going to try out the Color Drain Queen of Hearts palette. So yeah, I don't really know what look I'm doing yet, but we're just going to go with it really. Probably going to go in with um, Crown, which is the white shade. Um, it's a, meta oh, it's a metallic white. Just to go in onto my brow bone and then my inner corner highlight, because I don't like the strip there, I like to blend into it. So, just going to take my MAC 252. And just, I'm just an Anastasia fluffy brush that you get with the palette. So I'm going to go in with um, Princess, which is da -da -da -da, there. I'm just going to sweep that into my crease. Now I'm just going to use a Spectrum A06 brush and I'm going to go in with Ladyship here. It's a really nice like purpley colour. Yeah. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. But it's probably picking too, so. Now I'm going to go back in with my BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to go back in with Princess, the first shade, just to blend it out a bit more. And I'm just going to go back into Ladyship. The Purple shade and just put it on a bit more, just so we don't lose the colour. And now I'm going to go in with the Queen's Mother, that one, which is a a purple metallic purple shade really pretty so I'm just going to get a bit of my finger then just put on my bed I'm just going to get on a smaller blending brush, so the Peach and Cream PC22 brush and just dip a bit of the brown or Duchess just into the corner. I'm going to go back in with my original brush, back into Princess, the first shade, and just blend it out a bit more. And then I'm just going to get a pencil brush, just anyone, and I'm going to go back in with the crown, the white shade. Very flavoured shimmer shade, Queen Mother. But, uh, yeah, 
can't be that dead easy. Smoky, grungy, berry look. Right, so now, just gonna line my lash line quick. Using the same old Memi liquid eyeliner. Just using the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. So now we're going to go in with the Coloured Rain eyelashes. They're really pretty. They look quite big so I'll be keen to see what they'll be like. They feel really soft though. Let me just get my scissors quick. I'm just going to make them to a little S. So obviously, yeah, I didn't get on with those lashes, so I popped on my favourite lashes, the Coco and Class um, in Daisy, which are really, like, just fluffy, if anything, because the ones from Coloured Rain I thought were too long for my eyes, um, and because I've only got little eyes, they just didn't suit. But yeah, so I've done, I put my lashes on, I've done the rest of my makeup, um, so all I want to do now is under eye, and then we'll test out the liquid lipsticks. So on the under eye, I think I'm going to go it oh, and I had an absolute mare. So I went to pick up the palette and my nail caught crown. And look, I don't know if you can see it, a bit of focus. <gasps> look at that nail dig. I'm literally, I was so de devastated because I'm not even taking photos yet of this palette. Living sick. So, um, yeah under eye so I'm just gonna get a like a flat shader brush this is one from Morphe it doesn't have a thing on it it was just from a set and I think I'm gonna run um, Ladyship so that purple shade just under my eyes to blend a bit of um, just with a little unicorn brush it's not from unicorn cosmetics i can't remember where i got this from it's just a cheap brush so i'm going to use a bit of empress which is the orange shade for that one and i'm just going to run that oh that's quite good it. pigmented <laughs> underneath purple Um, black pencil in the waterline because I want it to be very smoky. Smudge that in with like a little smudger that's on the end of a Kiko pencil. We go back in with the ladyship. Okay. I'm just going to pop some more Bad Girl Bang on the bottom lashes. And that's it, eyes. Oh, I'm actually loving this. Right. I'm just going to spray a bit off. Mario Valesco spray. Okay. 
Now, lips. Just gonna zoom you out a little bit. Oh. Lips. So it's currently sent four lipsticks. So we've got Mars, which is like a nude. Nude. <laughs> so Mars nude. Um cherry blossom and roulette. So we're gonna try all four and see what they're like. So I've got nothing on my lips at the moment. And yeah, this one is Mars. So they've got a really thin applicator. Dead thin. So we'll see what that's. So this is the shade Mars. So it's like a dark, it's like nude's dark sister. I'm feeling really gothic and I love it. But yeah. So yeah. So that is Mars. I actually don't want to take it off. So it's dried down already. Okay, so now we try the purple shade. This is in shade roulette. Okay, so this is in roulette. It's a little bit harder to apply this one because of the formula was, I don't know, it's just different to the other one. But I really love the colour. I used to love wearing dark colours like this. Proper miles of like punky sort of makeup which I will live for. So yeah, so this is roulette. So now I need to try and get this off. Next we've got the Cherry Blossom Lip Lacquer, which is really like a gloss. I think a lip lacquer is a gloss. But yeah, you know I love a red lipstick at the moment, so this is definitely going to be getting used quite a lot. And this is the last shade, and this is in the shade Nude. So obviously it's not a nude for my skin tone. It could be a nude for a darker skin tone, but I still like it, so it's more like a dark brown really. Um, but yeah, so that's all four of the lipsticks swatched. Um, I really like them all. They're all quite dark, um, but if you like a dark, vampy look, then you'll love these. Um, they're probably perfect for darker complexions, uh, which, you know, we need some more lipsticks that are more diverse. Um, because you do get a lot of like pale nudes for like pale people like me, I suppose. So yeah, so these, will, these just go nice with any skin tone, really. Because obviously, as you can tell, I'm really pale and I'm living for these. So they're slightly different formulas from each other, I think, because these ones are three matte lipsticks. However, the um, roulette, so the dark purple one, was a lot thinner than the others, but there's still one swipe, like one dip into the actual component, and it like covered my whole lips. And obviously this is a lip lacquer, so it's more of a gloss. The only problem with this is it does transfer into your teeth quite often. So you just need to make sure that you like remove any excess and then it should be fine. Because I've probably got lipstick in my teeth in the last little swatch that I've done with this, but you know, shit happens. So yeah, so they're the lipsticks. Obviously the eyes are finished. So now I'm gonna do a few little swatcheroonies of the palette for you and then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Yeah, so palette, should we do a few swatcheroonies on the arms? The pigment was really good. It's like 
You know when you get shadows that are too pigmented and they're slightly harder to blend out, they're obviously easy for a lot of makeup artists, but for like our level, they're harder to blend out. So then, but these, I thought they were, they were so easy to blend. Like you saw, my eyes took 20 minutes. 20 minutes, if that. So yeah, dead easy. The pigments there, the colour range of this palette is unreal. I'd probably get a lot of use out of this because it's the colours that I wear pretty often. So yeah, I'm rating this so far. So, I'm gonna do a little swatch. Crown. Just that one. Royal Highness. Your Majesty. These foils are so good. And then we've got Princess, obviously you saw, uh, I use that quite a lot. So it's quite a light, nudie. But it blends really nicely. I use that as my transition shade, really, to be honest. Empress, which is like the orangey shade. See how pigmented that was. Oh my god. Queen Mother. So that's the first row. Oh, why am I so shit at swatching? <laughs> eh. Oh, so that's like a, a very light transitional shade. Royal Prerogative is like a brownie. Matte, yeah. Noble Woman. It's like a cranberry. Oh my actual god. So this is Ladyship. So this is the one that I use on my eyes. We've got Duchess, which is like a chocolate brown. Oh, here's my boyfriend shouting at FIFA downstairs. And then we've got Dethrone. Which is like a shimmer chocolate brown. On that chocolate. So these are the shades. They just look unreal. The foil shades are so pigmented, I can't even cope. So we reviewed the palette, we've reviewed the lipsticks. I didn't really get on with the lashes, not because they are horrible lashes or anything like that, but they are simply too long for my eyes and so they, they just didn't really suit me. Um, so I've got my own lashes on, so don't hate me please, Colored Rain, like don't come for me. But I've really enjoyed your products. I've really enjoyed the lipsticks. These are lipsticks that I will wear. I'll probably wear more in the winter months because I love a vampy lipstick in the winter. Um, obviously this palette is unreal. Like literally unreal. You can get this, you can get Colored Rain from Beauty Bay. Um, but yeah. I just can't go over how pigmented the, oh, the foil shadows are and it's a good size palette, it comes with a mirror, the packaging is lush, so yeah, I rate this, I recommend this. So the matte liquid paint, so the lipsticks, are $13.50 on Beauty Bay. I'm going to put loads of single shadows. Parts eyeshadow palette, that retails for £45 on Beauty Bay. And they don't have the lashes on Beauty Bay, so I don't know how much they are. But yeah. I don't know how much the lashes are. But yeah, so I think £45, you pay, you're paying for the pigment basically. And a lot of palettes this size are £45 these days anyway. And the lipstick is £13.50. You can't really go wrong for a good matte lipstick for £13.50. Yeah. So if you enjoyed today's little video then please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you've tried Coloured Rain before and if you do have any makeup or video suggestions for me then don't forget to write them below and then I shall create them for you if I can. Yeah. So if you do like this video and you want to see more from me then please subscribe but for now I'll see you in the next video. Bye!